I think by now you all know about the plastic waste issue. I mean, the many pictures and videos you have seen in social media. So you don't, I don't have to tell you more about it, right? You have got animals and birds being dissected, plastic bottles or, you know, particles being found in their stomach. It's horrible. And here in Hong Kong, in Lantau, a few months ago, cow Billy was dead. And unfortunately, plastic bags being found in his stomach. It's very close to us. But with all these animals, what is it to do with all of you? What is it to do with me? Scientists have already found plastic particles in fishes, in seafood. In Hong Kong, we're all seafood lovers. It's in our food chain. And there are even data to show that microplastics is actually in our air. It's actually, we're breathing it every day. Although um, we don't have enough data to show how, what's the actual impact in terms of health are those plastics. But we can't imagine they're good for us. It is a big problem, but how big is the problem? Tons and tons of plastic waste is being dumped in our landfill. Most of those plastic waste is actually plastic bottles. Okay, every single day in Hong Kong, 5.2 million single-use plastic bottles are being dumped. This is one day in Hong Kong only. It's horrible. But how much is 5.2? If you stack it all up, it's actually 2,200 ICC, the tallest building in Hong Kong. Let me remind you, it's only one day in Hong Kong. Imagine how big that problem is globally. Because with all the awareness that we have about this problem, most cities, the increase of consumption of single-use plastic is in a double-digit number every single year. So the problem is so big. Where do we start? What can we do? Out of those 5.2 plastic bottles, the majority is actually water bottles. Why do people consume water bottles as opposed to tap water? One, it's convenient. You can buy easily, you can throw away them very easily. You think that you are a responsible citizen, you put it in a recycled bin. But I can tell you the majority of them, because of contamination and mismanagement, they do not end up in a recycling plant. Second, there's a lot of myth about tap water. In Hong Kong here, our grandmother tells us, tap water is not clean, you have to boil your water. Okay, thirdly, you have all these um, lead problem in the news. You know, lead being found in our pipes, in our buildings. So what can we do? And on top of that, you have got bottle companies bombard us with marketing campaigns, campaign telling us how much better, healthier, tastier, and cleaner bottled water is. A lot of myth. Um, a lot of, you know, you know, when you see all these pictures, it's probably not unfamiliar. These are water fountains found in public areas, whether it's in uh, parks and sports grounds. When you look at them, what are the questions in your mind? Where's the water coming from? Is there a filter? If there's a filter, when was that filter changed? Okay, all these cause a lot of misconception and confusion. Okay, poorly maintained, poorly designed water fountains. User experience. Even if you are a very environmental green person, have your bottle, in front of that water fountain, water flow is either too weak or too strong. If you've got a bottle with that angle, I doubt you can really refill your bottle. So, you know, as part of our team, we're thinking we really need to provide alternative. Okay, this pl waste, plastic waste issue is not new. You've got a lot of nonprofit organization, charity, really advocating, educating everyone about the issue seems that the awareness is there, 
But the thing is, going back to what I said, if you're in front of that water station, you're not comfortable. You don't trust the water. So we think that we need to actually provide an alternative to the public if we actually want people to change their habits, right? So what needs to change? So uh, as we think through this, we think we need more of the water refill station and water stations that we can trust. Okay, clean, well-maintained. We have to run it like a business so that it's sustainable. We need to do communication differently. It needs to have a proper brand. People have to trust the brand. Okay, so whenever they see the, the form of that water refill station, that they are comfortable and think, you know, confident that they, they can drink the water from there. This is the scene that I would love to see, right? This is our outcome we want to see. People happy, comfortable to actually refill. Um, happy faces, more miserable faces, and skeptical faces. So on the far right is the product that we have developed. Um, this is actually the first location that we have placed uh, our prototype, which is 18 months ago in a school. We deliberately actually work with the teacher side by side with old water fountains. We want people to make that choice, okay? Not, you know, the school say, okay, this is a new fountain, you use the new fountain. Um, and also through that process, we work with the school and look at the feedback uh, on our prototype and improve our product features. But you wonder how it was different from the other fountains, except maybe it looks a bit better, it looks more professional. So what we've done is to really think through what is it to establish that trust. So we have used, or I, I should say leverage sort of modern technology and the use of data to really communicate that message um, to the user. So in the water station, we have um, embedded sensors um, so that we collect data about the water usage the water flow, the quality, um, whether there's any leakage. So all that help us to manage and prioritize um, the surfacing of the water station to make sure that every single time a user go there, consistent experience, the water station is not broken, right? It's being managed timely. We also have an interactive screen, again, that interface to tell the user when the water filter was last changed, when was the test, what the test was last done. So all this transparency, again, is going back to that trust issue we want to address. But on top of that, besides the trust, I think it's also going back about user engagement, about being personal. We talked about probably earlier with the other two speakers as well. So every single time when a user actually dispenses, a little thank you and showing them how they have contributed to the total accumulated number of bottles being saved. And we see that is very powerful. It's just that little gesture, but it's that empowerment of the user. You are part of that movement. And it proved to be, you know, quite the, the feedback has been very positive. So today, uh, with our effort in the past 18 months, we have now planted 185 water refill stations um, across Hong Kong in schools, universities, community space, shopping malls, um, hotels. And accumulatively, we have saved um, more than 1.5 million bottles. But this is only the beginning. We hope to do more, planting more water stations, saving more bottles, but only if we get all of you to actually participate. Because with your help, with your mo one small step, we are able to reach the next million, the next million, and the next million. So this is the vision. This is the scene we want to see, right? People proud bringing their own bottles and refill as opposed to buying a single use. I hope to see more happy faces and I hope that next time when I see all of you, you also have your own bottles for refill. The change is always daunting, 
but it's not as daunting as you think. Just that one small step we all add up, it actually can make a lot of difference. So I hope from today, you would maybe make a little pledge, whether it's a single-use plastic bottle, whether it's other type of single-use plastic items. If you just decide to use less, or even better, ditch them altogether, just pick one thing you start from today. It will make a difference. People say that I've got the courage to actually develop this whole new product, a Hong Kong design product for my city, but I think I've only done my little part. More important is for all of you to make that one small step from today. Thank you. Thank you.